Welcome back, folks, to Fishing Planet. I'm Super Dave, and today at Michigan, we're going to take a look at the St. Croix Heavyweights Mission. This is a very interesting and fun one for a lot of people. So, what you're going to want to start off with is, uh, for all the muskies, this will work. You can either use the spinner and any spinner tail. You don't have to put a spinner tail on it, but the 6.0 spinner is in the shop. Uh, when you do get here to Michigan, if you don't have it, uh, this works great for all the mich the musky that we're going to be talking about, and uh, uh, all otherwise you can use shiners or large minnows on a full pole or bottom rod, and if for a full pole, 20 inches down or 50 centimeters, you can go deeper. They're not really picky on depth. Um, the big thing though with the muskies is make sure that you have a titanium leader on if you don't want to risk losing uh, your hook, bait, lure, etc. Because they can and a lot of times will bite you off. Now we're going to start with the muskies and you're going to spawn at the woods of the eastern bank. Walk down to right here where you'll see where we are on the map here. Uh, we're halfway down the, the, the musky side. If you're using a float pole, you can catch both the tiger and regular musky right here. As you can see, the two marks. If you do want me to put these marks in uh, your map, you're more than welcome to. Just pause the video and go ahead and do that. And if you're using a lure, you're just going to cast out to these two spots right here. Um, and it's just right out here in front of you. And you just do stop and go in the middle of the water. Now, for the clear musky, you're going to want to spawn at the King of the Green Bay. We're just going to the other side. We're going to go up on this dock, and we are going to turn to our left. Again, you can float this if you would like, uh, or you can use the spinner. I prefer to use the spinner, um, and you should have uh, not much problem. So you can see this is the clear musky mark for uh, uh, bait. And for uh, for a lure, you can go ahead and, uh, and use this mark here. Uh, stop and go in the middle of the water will work just fine. Also, if you are higher level and you do have jerk baits on you, they do work pretty well for these as well. There is a lot of uh, stuff they will take. And now we're going to spawn over here at the boat dock. Um, also, keep in mind here, guys. Uh, if you're looking for one of the fish in particular in this mission, there is a playlist in the description that will have all the fish for Michigan individually listed in a video. So if you are struggling with one or you'd like to get a better version of it, like a unique, you can go ahead and do that. So here at the floating dock, we are going to have bottom rods or float poles at 98 inches or 250 centimeters. Uh, one with spawn sacks it, uh, for the sturgeon, one for the catfish. And you actually can cast in the same spot. Um, and uh, night work much better for these, uh, particularly the sturgeon. Uh, you can catch a sturgeon on cup bait as well, any of the cup baits. But if, if you do struggle to get the sturgeon out, definitely go to spawn sex. And you can catch them actually both right here at the sturgeon spot. You might as well because you're gonna the one that you're gonna have more issues with is the sturgeon. As you can see here, uh, there is the sturgeon mark here, 290 and negative 225. And you can see this one as well if you want to put it in. But along the boat is where you're gonna find the sturgeon. And while going for them, you will get catfish. Now, if you get lucky, you get the sturgeon right away. You can go closer to here to the boat dock for the catfish. Um, and like I said, these are easier at night. Anyway, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time, folks. Have a good one.